Let's talk about how Surf can upgrade your sales through LinkedIn while keeping your CRM processes simple. All that and more in this tutorial video. Let's jump into it. So Surf is one of many LinkedIn tools that are available to salespeople. The reason why we like Surf over those is because it fits best with Pipedrive and Pipedrive users. Surf, like Pipedrive, focuses on building relationships and just making sales easier. It does not focus on automated uh, business development, automatically sending requests, automatically sending messages. That's outside of what's go what Surf does. What Surf does well is, is it allows you to extend your Pipedrive CRM beyond just Pipedrive but into LinkedIn and also allows you to be able to work more efficiently, efficiently to build good lasting relationships with your prospect in LinkedIn. Surf's functionality within LinkedIn can be broken down into two main categories, CRM functionality within LinkedIn and messaging efficiency. In terms of CRM functionality within LinkedIn, Surf works as a Chrome extension. While it does have its own homepage and dashboard that you can jump into, uh, on a day-to-day -day basis, you're working out of the Chrome extension, which lays on top of LinkedIn. You can see here that when I jump on a profile, whether it is a person profile or an organization profile, you're gonna have this extension or window that pops up within the profile right under the header section. Here, it allows us to add in a record, whether it's a contact, a lead, or a deal, or if it's a company page, an organization instead of a person. Now, if Surf cannot automatically connect the contact that you have with um, somebody that you have in your CRM database, you can look for them. If not, the person doesn't exist at all, you can hit add as contact, add as lead, or add as deal. When you go to add in the contact, you can see here um, that it'll pull any information that it can, including the job title, the name of the organization that they work at, um, and any other information that they might be uh, available on LinkedIn itself. Now, creation of contacts is just the first, or creation of records in general, is just the first step of CRM management from within LinkedIn. Beyond that, you can see here that you can actually go in and update uh, the uh, custom fields that you have for those uh, records in your CRM. So right here from within LinkedIn, I can add in the email for this contact right here. Right from within here, not only can I update custom fields, which you can control by editing the custom fields that you have, but in addition to that, you can also quickly add in notes and tasks related to the contact, deals or organizations or leads that you have within your system here. You're going to notice here that within uh, LinkedIn, you're going to see that once I have a contact added to Pipedrive, automatically it's going to highlight blue just so you know that yes, this contact already exists in your CRM. So uh, doing so allows you to update records, to create records, to add notes or activities to records, and also to view those records directly from LinkedIn so that you don't have to be jumping back and forth, searching in LinkedIn, searching in Pipedrive, and, and doing your actions manually. To show you a quick example, I've now created a, my contact in our CRM because it did not exist before. For. Now that I've done that, I can go view in, in Pipedrive, and right here, we're able to see that the contact has been created with the information that I provided as well as the LinkedIn URL that came from the profile that I added the contact from. So let's see what this actually looks in practice. When I click on view in Pipedrive for the contact, or same with the deal, then what we're gonna notice is that all the information that we pulled from LinkedIn, including the person's name, uh, company name, and LinkedIn URL automatically shows up in their Pipedrive file. In addition to that, any additional information that I put in while I was on LinkedIn, like the email, also shows up in the Pipedrive file. Um, as I talked about before, we can add notes and tasks to uh, the record in Pipedrive, whether again, that's a contact record or an opportunity record. To show you what that looks like, I can just hit the plus icon next to the notes. It's gonna open up this sidebar section. It can be large if you want, or you do it small view. And right here, we can put the information that we want, right? So we can say, uh, follow up with Matt about partnership ops. And right then and there, we can create the note. Once we create the note, we can X out. We can see that we now have one note now. And if we go into the deal file, we're gonna see that right here. 
Follow up with Matt about pipe drive opportunities. Similarly, we can do the same with adding a task to pipe drive. We can add a task just by hitting the plus sign. This one doesn't do a full page, but rather half page. And what you notice here is that we can add information about the task name, the contact name, the due date, the status, assigned to, and the comment. One thing that is missing right now is the activity type. It would be good if Surf adds that in the future, um, but you can still get around that uh, and have automation in the background to automatically update the activity type based off of the, uh, the task name or the subject or anything like that. So right here, we can just add in information uh, and we can say a message like um, follow up with Matt about his conference experience, right? Right here, it pulls the contact name from the profile. We can add in a date of when we want to do the follow-up, a time as well. We can do a status, we can assign it, add a comment, and hit create. Once we do that, again, uh, almost immediately here, we're going to see that that shows up right here, and we can check it as complete and follow up whenever we need to. One thing that you're also going to notice is just this right here. When you're on the profile, uh, Surf not only pushes information to the CRM, but it also pulls information back into LinkedIn. So again, you don't necessarily have to leave your CRM. Right here, you can see that we have this task that I just created. It's due in three days, and it's highlighted here below. You can click on it, just as I did here, and it's going to pull up uh, that specific task, and you'll be able to mark it as done or make any updates that you need to do uh, in order to uh, keep uh, your sales processes moving along here. All right, so now let's move on to the other part of Surf's core features, which is messaging efficiency. There's two things that I want to show you here, and they're all right here on the screen right here. First is the ability to sync a chat. Once you have a contact created in your CRM um, that's connected to the LinkedIn uh, profile, what you're able to do is you're able to hit the sync chat button, which allows you um, to sync your incoming and outgoing messages as activities in your CRM. We can take a look at that here. If I just hit sync chat, we can see that the messages have come in as a uh, activity called LinkedIn Convo. Going back to the screen, uh, not only do we see that these messages come in, but in addition to that, we see that we're able to use Surf's message templates just as you would Pipedrive's email templates. They work pretty much the same way. I personally already use Surf on the hiring side. So if we take a look here, I can hit use a template and you can see that I have uh, different templates for different positions that we hire for and different parts of the sales process. Um, these templates are most often used uh, for Surf for, um, um, for sales. So that's how you would be able to use them in order to uh, improve your efficiency in messaging in Pipedrive. One important thing to note when we're creating these templates here is that you are able to name your messaging template, you're able to categorize it or label it, and you're also able to use custom fields. The way that you use custom fields, as you see right here, is just by putting in the variable using a hashtag, uh, and then you can write the rest of your message. The variables are going to depend on what you have available on LinkedIn. Usually it's going to be the person's first name and it's going to be company name. Uh, I would have to do a little bit more searching to figure out what other variables work within Pipedrive, uh, within Surf. So that's going to bring us to uh, the end of this quick Surf tutorial. There is so much more that Surf can do, but I want to give everyone a quick overview of how it can work and how it flows really well with Pipedrive to continue to allow you to uh, build relationships and manage your sales process on LinkedIn. If you have any questions, uh, please leave them below as a comment. If you like the video, please leave a like and subscribe to our channel for more helpful Pipedrive and sales app tips and tutorials in the future.